Tins is representing the north, Hask is representing the south. It will be as big as the state of origin. We've now reshuffled it. It's now Ford Farrell Manu. That is a team. That is a team. They're, teams, they're both they're both teams. Great game. Would you watch that? Yes. Yes. We're going to put it to you to decide who you think would win. I think this might happen. Hello, Dream Team. A very warm welcome to you all to The Good, The Bad, The Rugby, brought to you by our very good friends at Continental Tyres. Happy New Year. I hope you've had a very good time. It's good to be off and running once again. The wheels are rolling, as Continental Tyres might say, on a new year. Uh, we've... Is it, it is awful here. What a way to start the year. You need a microphone, Michael. Only show <laughs> 65. <laughs> so come at the it's king. So you better cheesy. not miss. <laughs> come at the Maybe the queen. The queen. Come at the king. Come at the, that, that, the person undecided. Happy yeah. New Year. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Right? Did you have a good Christmas? I'm upright. Uh, Mountains games. of foie gras Absolutely and Absolutely what you'd expect champagne. it to be. Hanging yeah. out the St. John Smythe and Southern 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 Feast. Budley Salt for and Yeah. yeah. Wooput, Cuthbert, <laughs> Sholto. Jasper, Sholto. Was it, would you go to a country retreat? Like, what does one do at Christmas at your annual gaff? Do you eat an 18 bird one's feast? Very one's very discreet about do, one's no, one really. Do you, do you one eat is. some sort of endangered species you'll gather around, like eating a couple of those chimpanzee yeah. from somewhere to really get that rarefied flavour? <laughs> do you know what? I've really missed you both. <laughs> like, like, really missed you. Nice, OK. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I had a good Christmas. Uh, I'm, um, I'm disappearing again, Sue. So you fine? Uh, oh, yeah. Do us a favour. Fuck off and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Uh, Australia. Oh, yeah. We're all going at some point, aren't we? Maybe. The new face of Australia. Maybe. Good eye, mate. How are you? Until you get, what did, you until get, what did Santa give you? Um, he gave me a lump of coal. Did he? Yeah. He gave me another round of investment for the tech biz. Oh, God. Oh just popped, Lord, popped in some EIS money. Santa is very, very disillusioned. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Santa's in hell. He, um, he's, he's now a, uh, he's on the road to nowhere. Alongside nice. the tech biz, so that was good. You? Um, I don't really get many presents anymore, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I know. It's very sad. I buy myself everything that did I Did Bodhi get you anything? Bodhi got me nothing. Just a big smile. Not even that, really. No. She's, yeah, that, no. she, she's taught. She gave him so many firsts this year that he's oh, a yeah. first of any child around anywhere <laughs> in the world. But if it, she felt they didn't, first she didn't need to give to him more. To explain yes. what these two bitches are saying <laughs> is, is basically, I obviously go on about my daughter quite a lot. And they, um, I basically made out that I'm the first person ever to have a child, and everything I'm telling them that's new to them. So unlike you, but they're also to be that kind of character. <laughs> but they're just jaded old has And the worst thing is, he like... thinks he needs to tell it, where we can just watch it on his channels anyway. <laughs> the Cascadia, I don't know. Thank I don't... God she's as sweet as she is. Otherwise, she is very sweet. you know, sometimes you get given a baby, and it's like, oh, and you're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was always told about ten years ago. So a mate of mine said to me, "Other people's children and other people's dogs." No, thank you. Yes. Yeah. But. Bodhi, you yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, I was Elena like that completely. Lucas as well. I was completely like that. But what? You, how's, and, um, and Gary and Arthur. <laughs> yeah, how's, <laughs> Mary, and Arthur. how's Mary and Alan? Yeah. Yeah. Gag. Yeah. Right, we're going to start 2024 with a new, like, this is a brand new, out-of-the-box concept, which I think we'll probably just knock about between the three of us, but we'll leave it here for some administrator, perhaps, to pick up and do something with, because we're going to have a bit of a celebration of all things Prem Rugby. Been a good start in the Champions Cup, obviously, over the last month or so. And in our recent show, Courtney Laws, the great, suggested a really interesting way to market the English game. And what he said was he would love to see a North v South series like a state of origin. So we're going to build exactly that. Does rugby need something now that <laughs> it can unwrap, that re-engages everybody, that is a new product, yeah, that is I, shiny, sparkly, I do, I do, and but exciting? You, you have to... We have to put it into context. There's a lot of asterisks and please see bottom because it would take for us to do this. <laughs> <laughs> for us to do this concept, we would have to change how the current structure of how the league is set up and everything else because you couldn't. Well, we're now going to talk about adding more games to a season when we promote uh, well-being and uh, players being looked after. So but it's we've lost three clubs, so there is a bit of space opening so up in the calendar potentially. Yeah, so that, that, that is just one caveat. And it will be in. as big as the state of origin. It's that's how we're going to hype it. So it'll be a, a big honour to play, and we're going to we're going to create a special set of rules for bringing back the biff. So that's going to be you know the current cool. encouragement. No TMO. Well, no. I tell you what. I tell you no, what. Yeah. I tell you what. Well, let's let's just, so what? Let's just get talk about. Fine, okay, fine. let's talk about. Let's it. So we're going to pick a team, one north, one south. We're going to put it to you the viewer and the listener, on social media to, to decide who you think would win. Tins is representing the North. Hask Shop. is representing the South. Yeah. Shall we do a sort of a criteria to start with? Because I think that's quite interesting. Loads of people will have lots of input. 
Um, this obviously isn't new. We've obviously had the North, the Midlands, London and Southwest in the past. They used to battle it out in the amateur era. The Midlands and the North actually both beat the touring All Blacks way back when. But the idea of this... Ollie. At Otley, they did. That's right. absolutely right. Were you there for that? It was 1915 oh, something or other. Slightly before my um, time. It's going to be a big money spinner. It's going to be Premiership players only. Yeah. Is it English Premiership players only, or do you want to open it up to What's other players who might represent Scotland? Or no, state of origin is just. So it's just born. English players, north or south. Yeah. So Chris yeah. Harris, for example, who plays at Gloucester, was born in England, yeah. but plays for Scotland. But that but, counts but him no, out no, of this, doesn't no, it? No, I think if you're born, if you're born, you yeah. can still play. Yeah. Even though you represent Scotland. Yeah. Okay. Nick Tompkins would be another. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine as long as you just produce your passport, not like those ones who tried to play for Scotland and Australia, and they got like a. So a, you could a, say. A, a, a Scottish woman sneezed on them once, 85 so years ago, and they claim. We just had we just had this discussion around Cameron Redpath. Technically, he's born in France. Yeah. Not born. So, uh, so, so he wouldn't be no, eligible. He, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't be eligible. Be eligible. No. Right. Sorry, so, Cam. So this is players who were born in England, might be representing Scotland or Wales, yeah. most likely, yeah. but are still a, 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 available to come back yeah. for the North. This is a work in progress because there's so many caveats. So he's saying that Manu can't be in there. So Manu can't be in there at yeah. the moment because oh. he wasn't born in England. It's a shame, yeah. isn't it? So what, the, the reason I would go against that is I think if you have only English players, you could have it as a, a an England trial of sorts. So then it becomes another level to it okay well we'll let the the listeners and readers to tell us we'll go let's keep it simple because the easiest way is you have to be able to play for england let's okay i way. think we should do that as well are you happy with that whatever you'd like darling I, okay. I honestly i'd love it and the guys people at home love it as well good well that's what matters. Great debate and that's what we want second debating point is where does the north of england become the north well if we are going haha I did some research on this too. If we're going that he has to play for England, then the actual no, the centre of England is in Morton, right? Which is welcome just, Morton is just about ten fifteen miles as the crow flies north of Leicester, right? So, so Leicester is in say, the south. <coughs> so, but I was saying we can steal just for another player pool. I think we steal, and Leicester is our cutoff line. So where are Leicester, north or south? Leicester are north, and then Northampton would be south. This so is right. a learning curve. I thought anything outside the M25 <laughs> was the north. I didn't know. Good, I another know strong contribution. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, so Leicester is in the north. So Leicester is the cut and off. Northampton is in the south. Can I suggest something, though? James. I think we should play one game in the north, one game in the south, and decide a game should be in, in the, the neutral. Middle. In the Midlands. In the Where? Middle. The biggest stadium in Villa the Villa Park. Yeah. yeah. Okay, should we pick our Venus? Where, where do you yeah. want the first? So my Venus that I put up for grabs in North, yeah, Ellen Road potential, yeah. St James's Park, yeah, Old Trafford, yeah, you could do Leicester City, Old yeah. Trafford, it's got to be. Well, yes, I'd go, I think you've got to go further north. I think you could have you could have the third but game at Leicester City. You want one right north, one in the south. Yeah. What is Newcastle if it's not right north? That's what I'm saying. But yeah. Leicester City, I think, oh, is, is oh, a so third, is a third oh, game. Yeah, play Newcastle because the chance of crap weather. We all know that from playing in there. I mean, everyone in the Premiership could won be them a out. It could be a su summer tournament. Well, I would, St I would James's make, Park is a hell of a stadium. Well, fine. Yeah. I would Did make. You, I, know, yeah. I went to St James's Park. Okay, fine. St James's Park. Some and we make it summer summer series. I think it's an end of well. Let's come back to yeah. that. Yeah. So give us your northern venues. So I would go then if you're going to do if you want somewhere in between. Yeah. So I'd go if you're going to have one in. Up north, I'd say St James's Park or Old Trafford. Okay. Probably, which is the most rugby centric, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I played at Old Trafford, so. I'm then, did you? Oh, the Argentina. Yeah. South, you've obviously got Twickenham, Tottenham. Looking to the south, Ashton Gate, you've got the Majeski, you've obviously got Wembley. I think you have to have it in London. I think you, yes, I think. But I wonder if you take it away from Twickenham. Well, I and don't mind doing that at all. Wembley, or, Wem Wembley or Tottenham? Wembley. No, Wembley, well, Tottenham is the best stadium in the world. Yes. One of the best stadiums yeah. in the world. Right got now. I'm actually DJing there for, for Saracens. Are you? Yep. In a couple of months. Wow. You're welcome. That one of the big, the big Showdown games. four. Harlequins versus Saracens. Owen See, Farrell thing, versus Marcus Smith. See Me th providing the tunes, them frying the rugby. What more do you need? This is, the, right, this is a, a concept that proves that rugby can do it. So you do the showdowns or the big games as they used to be, and yeah. you fill 80,000 people. Ten or a ticket or whatever it is. Yeah, so there is there, that, but it's got to be. We've got anyway. This is going off topic. We've got to mm. knock it down and rebuild it and rebuild it on the on the basis that you have bigger stadiums, less games. So, England so. qualified players. Yes. The North splits at Morton, which means Leicester is in the North, Northampton is in yeah. the South. We've got up for Ellen Road, 
Old Trafford or St James's in the north. Yeah. Wembley or Tottenham in the yeah. south. Or Twickenham. You got or Twickenham. Or, yeah, you got this. Yeah. With the decider played at <sighs> Phillip Park. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or or where else is? But you want the third. There. If it's one one, you want you almost want it at Wembley. Yeah. Well, you want the ninety thousand. Okay. Well, then maybe you rule. Maybe you come down the country. So maybe you go, Old Trafford, yeah, Villa yeah. Park, Wembley. Yeah. Yeah, it could work. I, I like okay. that. I like that. Well done. I don't Thank you. Me. Any other criteria? When are we playing this? Out of interest. I, I would mid-season. I'd carve out a two-week break or three-week break for everybody yeah. to, to give players a rest, and in and the ones that are selected play in that that three-week period. And yeah. Everyone else gets the thing uh, gets a break. Premiership takes a break, and then people can watch. Obviously, it gets monetized for the players who get selected. Yeah. Okay. That's why middle. So, so you go. We got a Premiership. Then we have a three-week break. Um, so so yeah. So if you don't if you don't get picked, you get a reward of you getting three weeks off to yep. re you know sort yourself yeah. out, sort your body out. If you get picked and you're playing, you get monetary. Yeah. Could, could you should we try and pick some teams then? And we've done this. I, I'm sure that there is science that's gone into this, but don't kill us if we've got science. someone's birthplace wrong. Um, do you want to pick your fullbacks? We'll go through some of the options yeah. for fullback first tins. So my options are Joe Carpenter, Sale, there's yeah. Luke James as well, who's at Sale, Josh Hodge at Exeter, and, and we are because we've taken Leicester as basically the mid Middle Earth. Yeah, um, there's Freddie Stewart who. Born in, uh, he's born in near Norfolk somewhere. Right, East Durham. This is Durham. A, it's a fairly fluid centre of England. Yeah, it's also it's, sort of it's also if you just draw a line right. straight across it. It's so some sort of made let's up just rusty, say, what if Freddie Stewart doesn't want to play for the North? Well, he considered himself. A I think he. Would, I think anyone at Leicester would want to play for the North. Okay, all right. Um, pro, uh, but bear in mind, feel free to comment on that. Whether if you're bear from mind Leicester, the post-match kit of flat caps. And stuff like that. It's all brown ale. We're, we're yeah, but they, all like shoot, they all like shooting, okay, racing, fine, and everything fine. else. So they're going to like fine. it. So, so at 15, I'm going to go with uh, Freddie Stewart. And if he doesn't want to play for the North, then oh. Joe Carpenter. Um, I'm going to go with Tom Wyatt and uh, just give you a little stat. Why? Because uh, the fullback has been the Premiership's top attacking threat with 107 carries. Um, which is the first, 36 defenders beaten, which is first, and 625 metres made, which is first. So he is on fire. I pick teams on form, not reputation. So you're not going to stick in an Anthony Watson or an Elliot Daly? No, no, we've got them as wingers options. Don't interfere with my selection. Oh, no, but you, you know, I, both of them are no, 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 fairly no, versatile. No, 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 don't need your input, thank you. This is my team, I'm just asking yours. the questions. Don't I'm not questions asking you to change present, it. I'm just present, offering some alternatives not, no, to you. Need, I've got alternatives. I've done a lot of research onto this. Freddie Stewart in the north, Tom White is 15 for the South. Do you want to pick wingers? Uh, yep. I'll go on my... I'm probably going to play two right wingers, to be fair. So I'm, I'm going to take Adam Radwan on my on one wing and yep. Alex Lewington on the other wing. Okay. And I'm going to take Joe Cock and a singer and Anthony Watson on my wing. <laughs> Joe Cock and a singer, okay. born in Fiji. But <laughs> well, see, I thought he was born in London. No. We can sack him off. Find Anthony Watson and Elliot Daly, then. I can't be bothered to Google his birth <laughs> thing. I believe you, you, know, you want to inhibit my team. Carry on. Cheating before we even start it. Anti Watson, <laughs> Elliot Daly, not a problem. Tins, you've got Radwan and Lewington. Yeah. Has you've got Anti Watson, Elliot Daly. Yes. Which is like, looking like quite a fiery back three. Centre combinations, please. Uh, so I will take, at 12, I'll take Dan Kelly. Yeah. Uh, at 13, obviously, I would like to take Chris Harris, but, but we I'm can't. afraid I've vetoed non yeah, vetoed English that. qualified players. So. And then we can't have Manu then. Can't have Manu. Or Cameron Redpath. Or Cameron Redpath. <laughs> so that's three of my five that have gone, which Sorry. has left me with Sam James and Dan Kelly. Oh, they're excellent too. Yeah. Or Mark Atkinson, Gloucester. Oh, Aki, actually. I mean, not, yeah, I mean, you may have to move Dan but Kelly he, to 13. Um, it's hard because he's only just come back from injury. So if I'm picking it right now, I've probably got to pick someone. Okay. So Kelly and James? Kelly and James. Uh, that sounds like a great crime duo, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Kelly and James. I'm going to go with Henry Slade at 13 because he's in, in form at the moment. Or Ollie Lawrence at 12 because he's ripping up trees. He is ripping up he's trees. He's absolutely at on fuego for ball. Is he one of the most improved players of the last 12 months? Yes, but when, we, when we spoke to Ellis, he said he was a real confidence player. So yeah. I think Eddie probably did him a disservice by taking him off. Um, and now he feels like he's got a bit of fire. But Ellis said you don't want him too pumped up. Cause yeah, because literally, literally then he comes out in a tracksuit like you. Yeah, he does, yeah. It's not. It's just what's confused Tins is they're wearing a matching tracksuit today and he just doesn't know how to comprehend it. I'm not sure there are any matching tracksuits Also doubles up his pyjamas. No. Well, maybe. They're quite, they're quite comfortable. Is there, have you ever seen a matching tracksuit in a royal household? Um, no. 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 There you are, you see. All right. 
Uh, I tell you what, at the moment, if you're picking this as a sort of, if you're if you're sitting in the middle as a neutral, yeah. Premiership South is looking quite heavyweight, with the greatest respect to Premiership North. Yeah. But uh, ten selections. Tens, well, I've got a, a bag full to pick, choose between Faz, that, George Ford. Is that the floor of, of number of tens? A bag full of tens, is it? Yeah. A bag full, yeah. A bag full, a sack full, <laughs> a flock of tens. Um, I am going to take... George so what you could do is you could... I could have moved them around, move one, you could re, do, you want to re, do you want to go back up one level? So what, just to, so what, take Farrell and Ford at you 10 You go Ford 12. at 10, Farrell at 12, Kelly at 13. Yeah. Or Sam James at 13. Yeah. Well, I thought the, uh, sure, why not? Just let's br open up that controversial 10-12 channel I thought again. the Farrell-Ford combination was no, universally not hated. No. Well, not for tins, no, right. universally no, hated. It depends how you're going to play, and they're going to be allowed to play with freedom. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. So are you going, you're going to put yeah, Ford okay. at 10, I'll flip Farrell at 12? I actually 12. had picked that before, but then I wasn't sure whether they were allowed to. So yes, I'll go Ford at 10, Farrell at 12, Kelly at 13. Okay. I'm, I've got this very obvious who so I'm going to go. Marcus Smith. Any other runners and riders? Um, no. No. <laughs> no. Marcus Smith gets the keys to 10. Was he born in England? In Manila. Okay, well, okay, here's a new curveball. A caveat, if you will, to the caveat. Um, if you played for England, then you're English, so you get... Because you to did England. say that this could be a qualifying game yeah. for England. You're so absolutely right. It so if you, do, if you weren't good. born so here... Rewriting of the rules mid-game. Yeah. So laws. if you weren't born here... So if you weren't born here and you don't play for England, then you can't be in. If you weren't born here but you've played for England, then you're allowed in. Right. And therefore we are basing who you play for on where, you, where you've grown up and where you play rugby yeah. now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Does so that, that throw that in any curveballs you want to Another curveball to my 10, 12, 13. Right. right. Um, because boy. I would have, obviously I would have Manu in. Obviously. Because... Right. <laughs> You know I what I said about the North looking a bit lightweight earlier? With the greatest respect to Sam James and Dan Kelly, we've now reshuffled it. It's now Ford Farrell Manu, yeah. which yeah. is suddenly looking like quite a... Well, but against uh, Henry Slade, Ollie Lawrence but and Marcus I, I, I could easily go Ford... I could either go Ford or Farrell and put Dan Kelly in, because I think okay. he's outstanding. You, well, you pick your, pick your 10, 12, 13. So to get away from the 10, 12 debate, yeah. I will go... I'm going to pin my stripes to... George Ford, because Owen's taking a break right now. Yep. So I'm going to go George Ford, uh, Dan Kelly, and Manu, Manu. to allow you. Lovely. Well, it's you interesting because you, you said earlier that you wanted to endorse the debate between the 10 12. Now you've quickly U turned well, and got away from it. Actually, I, just fair, don't, I don't want the hate speech. Oh, do you but, want any hate speech? Okay, well, but Owen, Owen's taking a break from England, but not from Saracens. No, and he would absolutely love a northern game. He, he would, would love to play for the, the north. He's the most northern man to ever come from the north <laughs> to represent you, the north. But yes. I, I just feel for everyone trying to understand what he says, he'd go so north, it'd be... Yeah, fine. It'd but be but be wouldn't that be great for the north? We need to grow <laughs> rugby in the yeah. north. Get <laughs> Owen going north. Because yeah. maybe they'll embrace him more than from the north. Okay, fine. I, I, well, I can't switch, because I okay, can't, fine, I can't make the decision they're both playing. Fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay. Uh, nines, please, gentlemen. Will you go? Oh, no, well, because he, he's changed. I'll, I'll take the lead now. I'm going to go with um, Alex Mitchell. He's played okay. fantastic rugby, and we're going to have we we'll have uh, Harry Randall on the bench. I'm going to go. Well, Danny Kerr played well on the weekends. Ben Spent and Rafi Quirk. So we've got two. Well, You've we've got, got, got one old one, one sort of middle to old one, and then one young one. I quite like Danny Kerr at nine because it's a bit like you know when Wayne Rooney went back to Everton. You know, I overtook Wayne Rooney on the motorway the other day. Did you? Yeah. How did you know? Because I looked and saw. Oh, I did. Yeah. Concentrate. Yeah. No, I was concentrate. I don't know what you do. You, do you ever look is at that, people when you go you look at him because yeah, he was in a good car? Uh, yeah, I think so. What wearing was he a cap, in? driving very reason, very respectably. Was it? Yes. Could it just be a just? Just could it could be anyone sort of because he's had that. No, it definitely was Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Yeah, it definitely was Wayne. Do you out the door go Rooners and stuff like that? No, I didn't do that. Oh, you know. Head past. But yeah. what I was going to say is I quite like the idea of Danny Kerr going back to play for the North, having grown up in Leeds, yeah. played for the Tykes. It's that sort of nice when elder yeah. statesmen go back to their, you know, their, yeah, their boyhood I club. So because he's a good mate as well, I'm going to take Danny Kerr. Okay. Well but it's a very tough call between either of, the, either of those three. I'm very blessed in the scrum half position. You are very blessed. Yeah. Uh, you've got Alex Mitchell. Right. Uh, up front. Well, we're going to go with Ellis Genge at number one. I'm going to go with um, Theo Dan at number two. And I'm going to go with uh, Kyle Stinkler at number three. Lovely. Um, I'm going to go Bevan Rod at one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Jack Walker. Ooh. Of Harlequins. Oh. Yeah, or Jamie Bummer. I'm going to go, well, then. Bummer. 
they've lost every game. So I'm going to go <laughs> with <laughs> Jack Walker. Yeah. And then at Joe Hayes. Yeah, probably Joe Hayes. Hayes. Joe Hayes. Yeah. Gloucester okay. aren't doing particularly well either this year. So. Do you want to put Di Coley in at tie head? No. <laughs> no <laughs> Thank okay. you, though. I'm, mo I'm moving on. I'm looking at future. Yeah. It's an England future. trial. Yeah. Fair yeah. Yeah. Moved on, yeah. Second rows. Wow. Well, Maru Atoji and um, Joe Launchnord. Because? Because I think Launch is playing well for Harlequins, and I think Maru Toji is Maru Toji, and I think he would rise to the challenge. Um, and he's on his fresh contract of 800 bags. He's probably pretty, pretty happy, I think. I'm going to take my England up-and-comers in Ollie Chesham and George Martin. That's quite heavyweight. The Leicester duo. Yeah. Okay, Martin Chesham. Bat row, please. Well, the bat row, we've got some injuries at this current point in time. Um, I'm going to go with... Courtney Laws at six. Okay. I'm going to go with Ben Earl at seven. Hang um, on. If Courtney's retired from international... He can still play. He can still you play. You can still play, yeah. Don't interfere with my selection. Well, it's, not very good. it's not very good for a future England trial. Well, it's just, it's just that's not like a sub, that's like a sub plot. Know, to yeah. the, so it's, it's, it's all about North and South. Oh, right? fuck the Ute Dem. I'm not interested in them. I want, okay. I want Courtney Laws. Laws at six. Cour Courtney Laws at six. Ben Earl at seven. Alex John Brandt at eight. Lovely. What about... Uh, so there's no. Because Alex John Brandt is on fire. I mean, would you like some stats just to back up my selection for everyone freaks the fuck out? Just to tell you quickly. This is where I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, in the old Don Brandt, obviously, since he got left out of the World Cup, is the second top uh, ball carrier in the league and makes uh, and is the first in contact meters. So, so he's in the mix. No Barbary, Underhill, Pearson, Willis, no, no, Curry, I'm Vunapola. I'm going to put Undernaws on the bench. Ludlam, um, he's and I'm going to put. Well, Tom Curry's injured at the moment. Well, he might be back when by the time the game was played. So I'd probably put him and um, Undernaws on the bench. Good depth. Tins. I am struggling a little bit in terms of <laughs> where what I go in life with, in my general, <laughs> with your appearance. Back row. I'm going to pick Doug Dale of Sale. I feel I'm going. Zach Mercer's been out, but I feel that I'm going to put him in because. So Zach Mercer goes in at eight. Yeah. Or does he? <laughs> I don't know. Could I your selector? Could you can't I ask yourself. Well, I hope your, I'm just hope selection of, meetings I'm just thinking of, of the other available to me. Is it you just talking to yourself in the mirror? Yeah. You is could that, put is it, that well, you could do. I is was he? thinking of putting Josh Bohm so onto eight and then putting Zach at six. Do you know what Zach you could do? Is you could put You could put Lewis Chesham in the second row with Ollie Chesham and move George Martin to six. Can you legally have two changes in the second row? Is that, I don't know, is that T's C's? Is it we're for holding the space-time continuum? If, if their heads touch, is it like if you put boy? a positive negative, it'll just blow the whole scrum up? <laughs> like sparking. <laughs> and they'll just blow up. No, what I'll do is I'll just put Josh Josh Beaumont at six because he gives me a line-out option. Okay. A very good line-out. Doug Dale at seven, Mercer at eight. Are we picking benches? I can tell you my bench off the top of my head if you'd just like to make a note of it straight okay. away. Okay. Okay, so um, Tommy Freeman. Um, I had Harry, Rand uh, Harry Randall. Um, I've got uh, Luke Cowan Dickey. Finn Smith is your 10. Yeah, Finn Smith is my 10. Um, Sam Undernaws, and um, I went with Tom Curry. I probably need one more, do I? You, Sam Underhill and Tom Curry. Yeah, yeah, because they play versatile. They can all play eight, six, seven, and eight. It's perfect. It's you want two back rowers, not, no, no second row. Well, we've got, I've got three, I've got quite, quite, quite a lot of height already. I don't really need. Okay, okay cool. I like that. Yeah, Tom yeah. Curry bench. Tom Curry on and the And honestly, because it'll come down to scrap, you know, I know set piece is important, but actually, I quite like. Um, any, any props or just foregoing those? Uh, um, no, I, I have got some props. Uh, I just remember who plays props. Um, Joe Marler. Joe Marler. And um, yeah, Will Stewart. Big spew. He'll go in there. Could you just, while Tins is, is Bre heavy putting breathing some work and panicking, in, yeah. could you just give us like a flavour of what your team talk would be to this team? This team? Absolute misfits that you're assembling I'll be like, do you know what? As Southerners, we absolutely no respect, right? Wherever you go, in any newspaper, if you're from the north, you're plucky and you're brave and you're salt of the earth. Everyone looks down our nose at us. We've got to come in here, give them a fucking hiding, send them on their way, back up there to their frayed bentos pies, their cobbled streets, their hovis loaves, and their fucking bad weather, and show them the south what it's about because we're absolutely going to pump the shit out of them. Physicality first, physicality second, <laughs> <laughs> and try and play with the ball third, all right? Right. That's it. Well, there you are, and, Team and, South. Yeah. That and is honestly, uh, some gonna, profound yeah. words on which to <laughs> head out into whatever stadium we're playing in this week. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Best of luck. Yeah. And you've assembled a you've assembled a squad uh, assembled a squad with eight bat rowers, <laughs> yeah. one second yeah. row, yeah. no props. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's rugby bob, but not as we know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And we can, you know, we can, once we finish the game, once we drill them, we can offer each one of them to be our own personal valets if they'd like it, and, and everything. Yeah, good. That's what well, we're going to we operate. Trash we're going go to go what it's about. We're going to go to. Well, I'm trying to think of a top, you know, ni nice London, London nightclub, and that would just put yeah. a trough of baked beans okay, outside. How are you going to dress your team? What sort oh, of garbs are we wearing? Black tie, finely tailored, tailored Savile Row suits, black yeah. ties, po ch ch with pocket watches on chains. Yeah. Um, really quite smart. Yeah. And, and that, these lot are in sort of overalls like Oliver Twist, flat caps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, Tins, how are you getting on? Um, so, <laughs> this I'm is your gonna, bench. I'm going to count the other way around because what, what do you normally do? Hooker first is Hooker, 16, and then, is then it? Your props. Yep. So, Jamie Blamire. Blamire. Then I'm going to go for. Um, he cares so much about this, is what I love. I know. Asher Apoku Ford Dior. Tighty. I'll go Fraser Balmain yeah. on the bench. Uh, then the makeup is I don't really have any back row, so on many back row to go to. So we're gonna have to get we can put we could put a Lewis Chesham in there. Yeah. Which gives us a bit of uh, Ollie can move around to six if needs be. So that's one, two, three, four. Um and then we need one more, don't we, forward. We'll go Pepper, you obviously. Guy Pepper in Newcastle. Tells a great story. Yeah. That's <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Guy Pepper. Add spice to at Newcastle. Does. Yeah. Uh, then in the. Nine. Nine. Spencer. Quirk. Yeah. I'm, uh, oh, I'm going to go Ben Spencer. Okay. I'm picking on form right now. Actually, Rafi's not playing badly either. But uh, um, I picked Ford, so <laughs> now Fast can go on the bench. Ooh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, even though I said he wasn't playing, but shh, don't judge me. Uh, that means back three. we've got. Who did, uh, I picked Freddie, uh, Joe Carpenter. That's been quite an experience. Do you reckon it'd be like um, you know, a movie Hunger Games or something else where part of their region, what they're known for, that's how they dress, or like you know, the start of some of those big epic movies, <laughs> like you know. Music, well, that's how to change the game. Music of the North, yeah. outfits from the North, yeah. stuff yeah. from the South, and you each bring a delicacy from your. Your, uh, your, your region. Home, real region. They, they run out to an Ar Arctic Monkey song. Yeah. Yeah. You look good on the dance floor. You look Premier good Ship on South the dance run. floor. <laughs> yeah. Premiership South run up to Coldplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shall I try and assemble the squads? I mean, my notes are absolutely unintelligible off the back of one of the most disorganised selection <laughs> meetings of all time. <laughs> it wasn't. You changed right. rules halfway through. Premiership yeah. North yeah. under the guise of Mike Tyndall. Mike Tyndall. Freddie what? Stewart, who may or may not <laughs> want to play for the North, but he's in the North for now. Adam Radwan. Manu and Dan Kelly, Alex Lewington, George Ford, Danny Kerr is your back line. Oh. Bevan Rod, Jack Walker, Joe Hayes, George Martin, Ollie Chesham, Josh Beaumont, Sam Dugdale, Zach Mercer. I like my Are you team. happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Your bench is Jamie Blumeyer. Yes. Ashra Poku, yes. Fraser Balmain, yes. Lewis Chesham. Yes. There's potential here. Guy Pepper, who yes. into that category. Ben Spencer, Owen Farrell. Joe Carpenter at sale. Yes. Are you happy with your lot? No late I am changes. Happy. Who would you like to skip of your team? He's normal because um, he never looks that happy. <laughs> George Ford. Danny Care. No, my skipper is going to be Zach Mercer. Is it? Yep. Well done, Zach Mercer. Wow. Man of the North. Right, Premiership South. Do you we're represented by a celebrity, so you know. Um, oh, yeah, we're going gonna, gonna to come on to Lord of the Rings. Okay. What's the guy's name, Lord of the Rings? The one who's like, no. Oh, Sean Bean. No, no, no. Well, he would be good. Either Sean Bean or the other little bloke, the really good looking little one. The one from Lord of the Rings, same thing. I can't remember his name. Like John, John Dickett. John the, John, John the most northern. John, John from North. Yeah, John from North. <laughs> John from North. You know, jo, 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 like the I fucking main who star. The about. one who tries to shag. Frodo um, Baggins? No, no. What Lord of the Lord Rings have you been watching? Rings. It's a very different Game of Thrones. Rings. 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 It's a different John's type of ring. It's Game of Thrones. John Snow. John Snow or Sean Bean. Kit, Kit Harrington. Harrington. Yeah, Kit Harrington. Right. That's the so one. wrong film. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Fine. Why can't you figure it out? Yeah. yeah, okay. And then, and then the Hugh the Grant one. is our representative. <laughs> 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 and they will duel yeah, at the end of the game <laughs> for a bonus <laughs> point. I don't know Sorry. About a boy. Yeah. Uh, right, Premiership South, as selected by James Haskell, which is quite something in itself. It was very efficient. Fullback, thing. Tom Wyatt. Your yeah. wingers, Anti Watson and Elliot Daly. Yes. Your centres are... Ollie Lawrence and Henry Slade. Yes. Halfback partnership of Alex Mitchell and Marcus Smith. Your front rows, Ellis Genge, Theo Dan, Kyle Sinclair, Mario Toje, Joe Launchbury, Courtney Laws, Ben Earl, 
Alex Dombrand. That is a team. That is a team. The isn't it? Teams, they're both isn't it? they're both teams. Well, to be fair. Better, anyway. <laughs> In your on your bench, you've got Joe Marler, Luke Cowan, Dickey, yeah. Will Stewart. Yes. And then you've gone Sam Underhill and Tom Curry in a yes. double back row bench. Yes. You've got Harry Randall and Finn Smith as your half back replacements with Tommy Freeman on the bench yes. covering the back three. I reckon that's a good what game. Do do? That's a great game. Would you watch that? Yes. yes. Would you buy a ticket to that? No. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd ask someone to get it for me for free, but I'd definitely be there. Um, Okay, so we are now playing this, hopefully in the sunshine. Yeah. We are having our first game at St. James. No, no, you, fli no you flip a coin. You flip a coin. Because for oh, home yes, advantage nice. first time, so then you have to decide. You flip a coin and it's gone north first game. So yeah. we're going to play Old Trafford. Yeah. Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. Villa Park. Y yes, or Wembley for the final. Or Wembley for the final. So we're going to go Old Trafford. Villa Park, yeah. Wembley. It's, just, it's sad that you can't always predict that it's going to go. It's going to be one all, and you're going to need a decider, isn't it? But but I tell you what, though. So for the inaugural one, we'll have it at Wembley. But whichever team wins, the yeah. party gets uh, to choose yeah, yeah, where I the like location is. Winner stays on, type. Yeah, yeah yes, winner basically. stays on. Yeah. So okay. they always get two homes. Yeah. Um, can we have a quick dip into the coaches? Which is what most Southern players have got. Not yeah. See, this is where I think the difference is. I think obviously the South have got a lot of uh, what you would say Money, is the fun. Sunshine, yeah, Bellens. <laughs> um, but I coaches, think the please. North takes the coaching group. Go on, then. Who are your, who's in your who's on your list? Well, well, well if I was going to pick right now, my head coach is Andy Farrell. Already, the, the uh, Northern gear has just my, gone up another notch. My attack coach is Stuart Lancaster. Oh, look at this! Hold back from Team France. Team socials won't be a big thing then. <laughs> but you got, <laughs> got Faz is good uh, to see you over it. Yeah, <laughs> my defensive coach and lead, sort of defensive lead, Alex Sanderson. Yeah, wow. not Sean Edwards. Oh, I can yeah, I see. Oh. <sighs> Could yeah, do that. Sean that. Edwards well, in there. at least I know he can't have it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. Uh, do I need to pick any other coaches? Forwards coach. Oh, actually, actually, take that back. Take it back. Take I'm, it back. And get rid of Lancaster. Right. I'm putting, Lee, I'm putting Lee Blackett in. Currently. I don't think Stuart would be released from yeah. Racing anyway. Yeah. So you've got Andy Farrell, Lee Blackett, Alex Sanders, who's your forwards coach? I love how he puts imaginary rules into the imaginary game. They're laws. And makes it <laughs> <laughs> Actually, who's I your rules coach? about release. Isn't Sanders my forwards coach? Who's your defence coach? Uh, I'll have Paul Gustard as my defence coach. Gustard. Okay, that's a, that is not a strong... Sean Edwards again. Shan Paul Gustard looking good in the... No, we've just said that he's not allowed to come back from France. Well, that's, uh, it's, it's a made-up game from made up <laughs> thing isn't going to happen, and he's making it unfun. But actually, like, Paul Gustav is in France I as well. I like sexual but... role play with Alex. Like, oh, I'm a postman. Well, uh, how many letters have you delivered today? Well, Shut yeah. up, just get your clothes off. <laughs> I'm a washing machine repairman. Could you actually fix it? No, Alex, just just go along with it. Yeah, but it's technically, if you can't repair a washing machine, can you actually role play? I'm like, no, I've lost my heart on that. I, I am actually... Go uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to... I'm going to have to change because I've got more chance of getting Edwards than have Paul Gustav because he's at Stad. Uh, he's at Stad. Isn't yeah, okay. Andy Farrell, Lee Blackett, Alex Sanson, and Sean Edwards. Oh my God, that's unbelievable! Good luck getting Andy Farrell back from Ireland as well. Oh, it's a made-up it's made game. game. Oh, is hello, it, well, imaginary phone call to Andy Farrell. He says he can come back for the imaginary game. He's you've, in. Got, you've got more chance of an international coach than you have of a. Yeah, right, yeah I think keep, he's on. He's on. Sean, keep, keep, what's that? Sean, do you want to come back <laughs> again? Yeah, it's fine. I spoke on the imaginary phone to the imaginary coach about the imaginary thing. <laughs> <laughs> They've said it's clear. Keep your hands on. No, fucking come in. Keep your lid on. He's already here for off anyway. I'm giving you your coach for the south. I've got no coach. So Clive Woodward. <laughs> I'd do it just to see if he's any good. Just because when he fucked it, I'd be like, "Listen, you had the best team and you fucked it." Um, so, or he so might be very good. good. Well, that's the only one. I've got Sir Clive Wood and George Givington. I can't leave any other coaches. Andy Robinson. You're gonna have to step oh, up. God, Ask, you're gonna man. have to step up. To Does Mark. Catty count or is Catty? Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, because if we're getting Andy Farrell back, we can get Mike. Ca well, yeah, yeah he's born in South. Yeah, yeah but he's <laughs> also he's eligible for England. Still England. England. Yeah, yeah, he's played most of his rugby. Attacking Mike Cat, head coach Sir Clive Woodward. Yeah. More of a manager, not allowed to coach. Um, uh, forwards, George. George, George, George. George Givington forwards and defence coach. What a, like a recently retired player. Johnny Wilkinson is your defence coach. Johnny Wilkinson oh. is your defence coach. Oh, he's your kicking No, coach. but I couldn't have him because the meetings were gone for several days and everyone would get very confused not understand one word he said. You are literally just picking 23 players and saying, get out there and get on with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, they're good enough. I tell you what, I'll be a player-led team. I'll be the figurehead. I'll be team manager. So Clive can be the facilitator. you got your big lol in there. <gasps> big lol. Social secretary. I love the fact that 
that you haven't really got a clue about coaches, but you have put yourself as team manager <laughs> and Lola's <as> social secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's all you need. Like the bar, we'd like the barbarians. We'd just be on it. We'd be, you know, I mean, raffles is closed now, but just imagine the, the social secretary, limos, velvet ropes, beautiful women, lot, minimum training, just telling them to actually kick the fuck out of the yeah, north, about roll up in an open bus. Joe Shaw school. as well. Joe Shaw's a good um, shot. I can't think of anyone. North, but basically, Ian South has got no coaches. Good Ian Beale, what reason <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to do. You know, you know, like, when a, you, you know like when a vehicle begins to wobble on ice <laughs> and you're beginning to lose control? Yeah. This is Hask. He's only been able to do 17 minutes of rugby yeah. chat before the back is beginning to go <laughs> and we're heading into the ditch. I don't know. Um, what is, this is a, this is a world class team. The coaching stuff has to be world class. <laughs> Clive Woodward hasn't coached since 1935 <laughs> before <laughs> BC. Um, I've got no one else. I don't know. George Skivington, forwards we've got. Lowell, social secretary, me, team You're manager. You're just going around the roundabout. Yeah. I can't not... think who else. Who else? Mike Cat. I really coach. struggled. Yeah, Mike, Mike Cat. Andy Robinson. Robinson. Mike Cat. Well, we could have Rob up. Baxter. Yeah, you could have Rob Baxter. Oh, fucking hell. Right, Clive. Hello, Clive on the imaginary phone. You're gone, Clive. I, I know I promised you this. I lied. Speak to you later. Bye. He's gone. Um, Baxter. Hi, Baxter. James Haskell. Who? No, James. You remember James Haskell? Big noise. No, okay. Doesn't matter. Big opportunity. Count Coach South. You in? Yeah. Yeah, he's in. He says he's in. Right. Rob Baxter is your Baxter, DOR. Rob Baxter. Suddenly, Mike Cat Attack. Okay. Ali Heifer, where was he? was um, George Givington forwards. Heifer, yeah. Lowell, social Heifer's secretary. Lowell. Yeah. You, you keep putting Lowell in. <laughs> yeah. He's the only consistent he's very so far. important. He's You've very changed every coach bar Lowell. He's very important. He's also doing media. He's head of press and social Yes, secretary. now, he, and he'll sell, he'll get bubbles. Yes, he seats. will, of course. I'm not, he's smart. Yeah. Um, and then, do I need one more? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you, who we've forgotten? Who? Joe Worsley. Oh, yeah. Right. Words will be amazing. Well, can we get him out of um, can we get him out of France? Hello, Joe Worsley. It's an imaginary phone call to imaginary Joe Worsley. Can we but get him out of the game? Actually, yes, he can. He's, he's not, not actually working as he's Joe not Worsley's actually coaching. Coaching. Joe Worsley's in. You've left out Phil Larder. No, yeah, thank you. He's, he's too old now. But it's like picking Brian Ashton. Like I know Brian Ashton is Yoda. The problem is he's six hundred and thirty four years old. We'd have to be done training by like, three o'clock in the an afternoon nap <laughs> and a milky tea. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and they'd be parked up on the side of the field with Scotch blankets on. <laughs> I, I'm not sure we've done Brian, a Brian, come back, Brian. What, what, you're wandering off, Brian. You're not you're not, you're not coaching the players, Brian. You're walking in traffic. What a legend Phil Larder is, by the way. In fact, I saw him at the twenty year reunion. He asked about my dad. I said, My dad's not doing that great. He realised he lives right next he lives around the corner from my dad and he went and saw him straight away. Next week. Kidding, oh, really? That? Maybe feel like well, maybe well. I, I forgot maybe. to tell my mum and daddy was coming, so my mum and dad were like, "Who are you?" <laughs> Originally, because they're uh, not the sound of mine anymore. Who are you? Because I spoke to her, she was like, "Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. one of the coaches, a like, great guy from England, uh, came in. I was like, Phil Larder. She's like, "Yeah." He came around. That's That's nice. so, so thank you, really Phil. Nice That's a good moment. Sure I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to interlude, and then you're going to get the chance to put the frilly bits on, which makes this the most marketable game okay. out there. Okay, yep. so I want kit colours. Yep. I want who's singing your yeah. southern song. I want yep. any other bit. Who, who, what suits are you wearing to the yep. to the final? Right. Just before that, a quick note from our friends at Nord VPN. Should really be North VPN, shouldn't it? See what I've done there who are offering Good, Bad & Rugby listeners an exclusive deal. Did you know you can use NordVPN to protect your online card payments? This will help prevent your details from falling into the wrong hands while shopping online. New Year, New Year's resolutions. Yes. Safe online. Oh, that's my, that was my number one resolution, to get a VPN. Um, now I'm single as well, doing a lot of operating online. Need to make sure I'm protected because you don't want any of them nutters following you home or following you through your internet connection. So, yeah, it's very important for me. Browsing, obviously essential. Yeah, um, and a lot of travel. Lot of travel. Where are you moment. going in 2024? Oh, where am I not going? I've got Dubai. Um, I've got New York. I have got Australia. I've got Hong Kong. All of them going to require a VPN. And also just generally my, my general safety because I'm a sadless celebrity and people are after me. That is very true. The queue is long. Uh, you can get a discount on your plan plus four extra months on top and there's no risk with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com forward slash good, bad, rugby. The link is also in the episode description box. Tins, would you like to go first on marketability of Premiership North? For our three-game series, if we if we think about music, we've got we've got a lot of good choices in there. Happy Monday, Stone Roses, The Smiths, Oasis, Robbie Williams, New Order, take that, Arctic Monkeys, oh. Elton John, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just shattering the stars. I feel that you're going down Max's route here. There's going to be a lot of pink jerseys. Elton John, centre field, Rocket Man, as the players run out. Rocket yeah. Man! Like Saturday fire. night's all right for fighting. Yeah, yeah. We'll play on a Saturday, Saturday. night. Saturday! Saturday! Oh, be good. Yeah, it'll be amazing. Yeah. Like, everyone will be like, fucking yeah. oh, dance. Def Leppard as well. Okay. I'm just thinking of a song that the team 
can run out to, like a bit like NFL college ball that we always talk about. That's going to get into the sand, mate. Everyone <laughs> popping. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then colours of kit. Yeah. I'm I'm getting brown and brown with a tinge <laughs> yeah, of yellow. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> very sad. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I'm getting. Mine's pink. Right. But no, as you know, as it would have to be red and white in some ways for Lancashire and Lancashire Yorkshire. and Yorkshire because they pretty much Roses. make up yeah. most of the north. That always used to be London actually back in the day, red and white. So I I'm, but I'm thinking it's it's a very striking kit, you know, cuz you know, there's a lot of color and life up north. Yeah. As you would say, <laughs> you can't make it a grey cloud colour like you think it's up there yeah. in coal. Uh, Just get a picture of chimneys on it with like smog coming <laughs> off and smoking <laughs> off. I'm trying to think of a real northern brand that I could stick on the kit, but I can't. It's yes, sponsored by Hovis. Warburton's. Warburton's, oh, Warburton's yeah. It, yeah. Because I think it'd be good to be sponsored yeah. by Warburton's. And Newcastle Brown Ale, just as the, the drink yeah. of choice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Special brew. Special brew. Green King's R's ones. What is your what are your kit so My shirt's pink with gold numbers with with sparkles on it and white collars and white sleeves and uh, white sleeve ends. Nice. And it's like bright, sparkly ones. Yeah, and you're sponsored by I love the fact that um, we're going on his dress. I'm sponsored, game. sponsored by Harrods. Right. <laughs> we are. Yeah, good. We're shattering stereotypes <laughs> yeah. as we go here. Yeah. It's about it's it's how south can you be and how north can you yes. be, essentially. And, and you're coming on penny farthings and you're coming in yeah. those? Yes, of course. Yeah, okay, lovely. Anything else you'd like to contribute to our debate yes, on so North v South? Do you think this would work? Do you think this would get... Yeah, so physics, So obviously the, the name of the game is physicality and, and stuff, so we're going to obviously make sure the medical reckon, care is Just on that, you know we're talking about music. Could we have like a, a battle-off of musicians on the pitch? So yeah. So you've got Elton John, you've got Elton John and someone else versus Arctic Monkeys and Oasis. Yeah, yeah you could do that. Yeah, we could do that. We, we've got um, DJs, music, fireworks... Post match celebration, like think of a Formula One weekend. So big fan villages, opportunities all around there. Like like the stage acts, um, obviously alcohol everywhere. We got uh, pies from the north. Yeah, you, you've half got, time show. You've got the food of the north the versus food of the so, south, yeah. so you can uh, have a little bit of culinary, culinary battle. Uh, yeah. A culinary battle on the outside. You got you got half time show, twenty minute half time show, thirty minute like yeah, like, mega like the NFL yeah. type thing. Fireworks at the end of the match. Um, Big hospitality catered by Tom Kerridge. Can we, you said a really interesting thing earlier on about bring back the Biff. Yeah. So can we just very quickly talk about the coverage? Are yeah. we getting rid of TMO, HIMO in-stadium replays, referee's call becomes the verdict yes. and everyone just gets on so with you, so it? It's gonna be, sorry. Oh, God. I was going to say, so in terms of um, the review, pitch side, like NFL at a screen, the referee goes and looks at it. It's produced multiple and his decision is, is vital. Um, there is the, the tackle stuff. Um, unless, unless it's like a gratuitous thing of violence, it's just play on. You put one report, and we just roll on with and it. They, the they mess up the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, um, and obviously we look at the best medical care. No contact in training in the week. We're also doing a doco over the course of the three weeks yeah. yep. that goes out on uh, Netflix or appropriate streaming. You've got behind the scenes coverage, change room cameras, uh, post full access, full access everywhere. Uh, post cameras like on the field, like NFL, right up there. Eight K cameras showing everything. Cut downs. Uh, there's a, there's a spin off show. On um, live on Sky, hyping up the week where we got we got p people live from the um, the the, you know, the the training squad. So we're like, right, Courtney, you finished training today. How do you feel? And that gets beamed out on the show. Here's one for you: you don't get paid to play, no. but there is a million pound prize fund. Yeah. For whichever one whichever wins, yeah. split between the players. Yeah. Agreed. And then it means something. Yeah. Imagine 100%. what those celebs would be like. I know. Imagine if you that. are picking up 50k. Yeah. For having one, two one series. I think that'd be quite good fun. Yeah. I think it'd be great. Any other bits and bobs? Or have we built a product that the game needs? I and frankly, we I need to I get into the calendar sooner It's going to be a, so much support behind this pod and what we've just built that I think this might happen. What I love about this is it's got so much cut through beyond rugby. Yeah, it, you, you, it, It's got to be about much more than just North v South as, as a game. It's got to be about we are representing everybody and everything yeah. culturally up and down the land. Yeah. Um, make your choice and get stuck in. Um, Hask offered some very loose, rather generic <laughs> words of wisdom for his team, which were basically, I've picked a, picked a very random squad, good luck. Have you got any northern words of wisdom? Well, look, I think with my the strength of my coaching staff, I'm not going to have to do too many words. I'm just going to speak as northern as I can, because obviously we know that that's more passion, 
and yep. reunites the immediately more intelligent. Immedi- immediately just focusing on the posh twats down south and yeah. what it means more to us up here and um just get nuggety. And we're gonna have like lots of sledging like ha ah, your dad probably works for my dad as a gardener and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, yeah. What's it like coming for a second rate dump and all this kind of stuff? Really quite yeah. We're gonna arrive in carriages with horses. Right. Shit like that. High quality content. <laughs> well, there you go. I see that's why I don't have to say anything. Yeah. There you that's go. what we like, oi, we don't need to say anything, do we fucking oh you southerners are all giving it all the chat lads. Let's just do what we always do, yeah, be humble, down to earth, like salt the earth, fucking geese and beat everyone. <laughs> We're like, oh god, I don't understand one word he said. Ghastly man. I would love to go Awful watch this. Person. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> and then this shit and just oh, no. as far as it <laughs> showed the but yeah, that would be the other thing, is you are allowed to say whatever you want yeah. in the build up to the yeah. game. Yeah. And if you try, there to is get no mark. If you if you come if up you with a media anything, cliche, if you you're any, dropped. Yeah. 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 If anything yeah. comes out that's in the media handbook, yeah. you're out. Yeah, yeah. If you say you're a game two halves, just really excited to be here. Be There's like, a no. ten grand bonus for yeah. whichever ever player goes full Conor yeah. McGregor. And if you if they try to cancel you, you know that you're onto a good path. Do you know yeah. Yeah. Who wins? Two remarkable teams. Um, I'm just having a little look at the team sheet so here. So what, um, what we're, you're we're saying is, Tom, the producer, is we're going to the Eton schoolboy for who's <laughs> yeah. going to win yeah. this, right? Man of the people. <laughs> I am seeing, and we'll put this out to a fan vote as well when we name the two teams. I think, based on the power of the Southern Pack, Ellis, Theo, Dan, Sinclair, Marrow, Launchbury, Laws, Earl, Dombrandt, games are one up front, and I think that shades a power pack Northern backline. So I'm going Premiership South 2 1. Sharing a million pounds between them. Yeah. Funnily enough, the southern. <laughs> the southern I would say this. Well, let's, see what, the, let's view, see what the fans say. Your coaching staff absolutely dicks all over me, now, and it will be a great indication. Yeah, but with your players, passionate your words of yeah. wisdom, your your team will <laughs> never fail. Yeah. I'm Get thinking, out there, look good, play well. We've got better outfit, better weathers, better transport. The t- players, I think, are better, but the coaching staff is way better on yours. It will be interesting to see whether it's down to the coaches that help win a team or it's actually the players. And I, I think more often than not, it's the players, not the coaching staff. And coaches get too much heat. So I think it would be a great social experiment to see wh- you know, which one makes a difference. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll set the challenge for the Good Scouts Rugby Girls to pick their teams as well. And then we'll have a double header and they can go from there. And actually, on that note, if you haven't caught the good, the Scouts and the rugby yet this season, they are back. They are better than ever. They've had some quality guests on already. Uh, and on the subject of Northern Rugby, if you are a Sale Sharks fan especially, make sure you go and find their recent episode with the co-owner, Michelle Orange, and you will get a real sense of her passion for the club. She tells the girls that her and Simon have the club in their will, would you believe? And you'll find them on our YouTube channel and wherever you get your podcast, just search Good Scars Rugby. A uh, quick plug for the lock-in, as always, which is where the usual nonsense uh, outside of rugby takes place. Go and have a little look if you fancy some of that. Should we do a quick Black Eye of the Week? Who, uh, who yeah, I thought... I thought uh, back out of the way, away from the, the game, Sir Kev, what he's done for uh, Rob Burrow, and I've just been on, uh, just did Rob Burrow's got a podcast out there called Seven. Um, if anyone wants to listen to it, he asks seven questions to seven different people. Um, but Sir Kev running seven ultra marathons in a week is just and ridiculous. Sir know. Kev, he needs to Sir be. Kev. I know, he does need to be. So a bottle to Rob and a bottle to Sir Kev? Yeah. Yes. Good on them. A remarkable achievement by Sir Kev. Uh, prior to Christmas. Black Eyed Gin is available from Amazon, selected Sainsbury's and Master of Malt. It has botanicals from every rugby playing nation and one very special ingredient, which unfortunately we can't tell you about, but it is very, very special. pound fifty of every bottle goes into the Black Eyed Rugby Fund, which is aiming to raise a million pounds a year to help with the areas of risk, research and recovery within the game of rugby union. Go grab a bottle if you fancy it. Uh, that is it for this week. Something to open our account in 2024, something to debate. We'll put it out to you, the viewers and the listeners. Uh, do let us know your feedback, who is going to win, what selections have we missed, what mess are made, have we made of that entire show. I'm sure one or two of us will set us straight. But that is it for this week's show. Thank you to Continental Tires, as always, for their support. We're a folding pocket production, stats and facts provided by Oval Insights. And this week's episode was produced by Tom Edwards. See you again soon. Bye for now.